Hi everybody, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com doing a four box half case break of 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball. This one's a random team, number three. It's going to be from a fresh case, so we'll be able to do the second half of this case, the last four boxes, in pick, uh, random team number four. We've got a list of all the customers that got into this. Thank you very much. From Aram down to Jack with the last spot mojo and our list of teams from the Diamondbacks all the way down to the Nationals. We're going to do a dice roll to randomize this and we're going to do a two and a four six times first with the list of names and sixth and final time from Sean down to Sean. The book ends for you. And on the team, six times. Sixth and final time. From the Padres down to the Rangers. And remember, this is 2019 rookie class for Bowman Tops. So for the Padres, you've got Fernando Tatis Jr. For the Toronto Blue Jays, Enoch Kim, you've got Vlad Guerrero Jr. So Sean McManus with the Padres, Don Johnson with the Twins, Enoch with the White Sox, Aram Haynes with the Giants, Matt Nyland with the Brewers, Ian Swerka with the Rays, Colin Smith with the Nationals, Reza Amini with the Diamondbacks, Joe Fagundes with the A's, Eddie Sanchez with the Phillies, Sarah Bernard with the Orioles, Tori Wachtel with the Braves, Patrick Sue with the Pirates, Dennis Foley with the Royals, Colin Smith with the Rockies, Donald Pellegrino with the Astros, Evan Litt with the Mariners, Seven Bernard or Sarah Bernard with the Cubs, Eric Jock with the Indians, Ian Ingram with the Marlins, Will Christian with the Dodgers, Enoch Kim with the Blue Jays, Jarrell Taylor with the Angels, Miguel Rose with the Mets, Jonah Wilson with the Tigers, Jack Lost Spot Mojo with the Cardinals, Tori Wachtel with the Red Sox, Chris Miller with the Yankees, Jeremy Anderson with the Reds, and Sean McManus with the Rangers. So we're going to organize this by team name. So, for example, Arizona Diamondbacks, Reza Amini, will be the first name on the list. And there, Reza Amini. Uh, trade window? Anybody? We'll give it, a, give it a minute or so if anybody wants to trade. that And remember it's not only the uh, the rookie class you also have a lot of last year's draft class. Not this current year, but last year. So the one that was headed by Adley Rutschman. Um, you've got him. Why can't I think of the other? I mean, you got a lot of a lot of rookies in there. Or a lot of uh, draft picks from 2019 in this as well. Sean has the Rangers up for trade. So Rangers, you can check the checklist and everything on Group Race or, or uh, Cardboard Connection or Group Break Checklist, but Rangers potentially Josh Young, I think.
Drell with the Angels. He's holding on to his team. Will with the Dodgers holding on to their team, his team. Doesn't look like we have any trade trade partners, Sean. So, okay, trade window closed, guys. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, you always got to try. And here's our team list. Thank you everybody for getting in on this. On our Jaspies After Darks break on this beautiful Tuesday, July 21st. New case, Bowman's Best, 2019. You can see on there, 2019 Bowman's Best. Let's see a lot of good things. Right? Guys, after this, it looks like Ingrained might be going. Maybe Last Spot Mojo. <laughs> well, you got a couple of good ones. Cody Hosey. Who's the other one? Michael Bush. So, let's see. Where's the front? So, you've got... This is the front of the boxes. So, we'll go... Four and four. Here, let me flip them over. Cool. So they're upside down. We get the idea. So we're going to go these four boxes over here. And these four boxes over here. I'm gonna roll a dice. Let's see which ones we're doing on break number three. Normal dice. Good luck. And we ended up with a two. So it's gonna go left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two on the left. And then these ones we're going to mark for number four. So I'm going to write on the top here so that we all know. So there you go. Those ones will be available for break number four, guys. Good luck, everyone. So inside of these, you've got one master box, two mini boxes. And then each in, in each mini box are two autos. So each master box is gonna have four autos in it.
Good luck, everyone. Now, Bowman's Vest, you got a mix of the rookies, you get a mix of the veterans, you get the mix of the draft class. Awesome designs, cool styling, lots of color, chrome, refractors, all of it. Nothing, nothing not to love in here, you know? Because of all the parallels in here, guys, all cards do ship. So, still got 33 people in the chat. Do you guys think the Angels will have more than 50 wins this year? Or only more than 40? Let me know. Yes, Joe. Yes. Yeah, I, I will. I'm, I'm kind of in your boat. I'm looking at like 33, maybe 34, hopefully. 35 would be awesome. Forrest Whitley, purple to 250 for the Houston Astros and Donald Pellegrino. Carter Keeboom, die cut refractor, rookie for the Washington Nationals and Colin Smith. Really cool looking card there. Shailene Aliers, Refractor. Josh Young. First auto for the Baltimore Orioles. Dean Kramer. Blued, 150. Baltimore Orioles going to Sarah Bernard. Bryson Stott, Refractor. Joey Bart, franchise favorites, Refractor. Hunter Green, Future Foundations, die cut for the Cincinnati Reds and Jeremy Anderson. Second auto, Daniel Espino for the Cleveland Indians. I think somebody was saying they they were upset they got the Indians. Well, there's an auto. Cleveland Indians for Eric Jock. Franchise favorites, Vlad Guerrero Jr. I think 31 is not a bad bad bet. They look like this, and they will be exactly the same at each venue. Up to 30 cameras positioned around each court. All but three of them will be robotic, 
but the coverage and the camera angles should really be unique and unlike anything that fans have ever seen before. Team bench areas have been arranged so that players are seated next to each other, but socially distanced, and each player and coach will have his own... <laughs> Joe, I just read your, your, uh, your comment about not embarrassing us. You guys... You guys lost that option as soon as I walked in the door. Jeremy, everybody likes the White Sox this year. I don't think that's that, I don't think that's going to be surprising to anybody if they do well. Neil Harris, Montero, Future Foundations, Die Cut. <laughs> Zach Thompson, auto for the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals is Jack with his last spot mojo. Bo Bichette, Prospect Refractor. Shailene Lears, Franchise Favorites. Anthony Rizzo, orange to 25 for the Chicago Cubs, and Sarah Bernard. Jonathan India, Future Foundations die cut. Hunter Green, green auto to 99 for the Cincinnati Reds, going to Jeremy Anderson. Rushman, Refractor. Chavis, Franchise Favorites. And Will Smith, Rookie Refractor as well. Yeah, I would I would easily say that the White Sox are definitely going to go over 31 and a half. It would have been even better if they had a Michael Kopech. Hope that guy figures it out. That sucks. Uh, Patrick Sandoval, he could be good. Second box. Uh, no, Callie, you'd, you'd get your money back if uh, if the prop doesn't play out. They'll pay. You, they'll they'd pay you your bet back. But I would say this. Let's say that like you're betting. Let's say you're betting like the Yankees or a team like. What team has the highest over under this year as far as wins? Whatever that team is. Let's say that the over under on the wins is like 48, right? So they can only have 12 wins. Let's say that there's only 30 games played this year, and they already have 13 losses. So like one more than what is the over under is on. I'm pretty sure that they'll they'll obviously not pay you back your money on that. You know what I mean? Like if if your over under is 48 and highest win total is 37 and a half. So so yeah, if they had, I think if the, if the season only went 40, 30 games or 40 games and they already had 24 losses, I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't give you your money back on that one. But 
that'd be a hard thing to happen too because you'd have to take the team that's got the highest predicted win and then all of a sudden have you know one of the worst first 30 games or worth 40 40 games Yeah, Dodgers are definitely overrated. I think people, I think Vegas is just taking money on those. Well, I think you misspelled Angels and two of the top five players in the league. What's up, Tyler? Do you know why Vegas does that, Joe? Because Dodgers fans are suckers. Every year is your year. But in reality, it was 33 years ago. <laughs> You got a big market team with big names and good players. And that's it. Yeah, I mean, Seth Beer, Future Foundation's die cut. Tatis. TJ Sikama from the New York Yankees, base auto. Yankees is going to Chris Miller. Bobby Witt, franchise favorites. Glaber Torres, blue to 150 for the Yankees, also going to... Chris Miller, Nico Horner. Shervin Newton for the Mets with one of the coolest autos. Look at that thing. The dollar sign. It looks like a, like a graffiti tag. New York Mets, Miguel Rose. Yeah, I think it's, who is it? It's him. Hunter Green has one too, right? Yeah. Cool looking autos. Pete Alonzo, rookie purple to 250. Mets, Miguel Rose. Nick Lodolo, cracked ice. For the Cincinnati Reds and Jeremy Anderson. Victor Victor Mesa, die cut. And Otto, Future Foundations Otto for the St. Louis Cardinals. Jack, last spot mojo. Nolan Gorman to 100. Tatis, Future Foundations. Victor Mesa Jr., die cut. Chicago Cubs, Sarah Bernard. Nico Horner, base auto. Box two. Joe, you're saying you'd put money on the over for the Orioles at 20, 20 and a half, so they have to have 21 wins? I would not bet that at all. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I was like, that is...
By the way, Joe's lunch is costing like six hundred dollars each. He really likes lunch. So his lunch money is different than the rest of us. <laughs> That guy legitimately has a uh, Uber Eats bringing Nobu for him every day. It's pretty impressive. He doesn't let anybody look at him while he eats, though. He's a shy eater. I wonder if you can get Nobu delivered through Uber Eats. Christian, do you really think that Chris Davis might have a comeback season? And it's like the Chris with the C, not the Chris with the K? Okay. Thank you. Super cool. I feel like I feel like if he does though, like he needs to have that one good year to end his career and just like kind of walk off and just be like, okay, cool. I, I, I proved that I could do it again, you know. Just for himself, not for anybody else. The Orioles just need to do what the Astros did and just. Just be terrible. You can postmate Nobu? Oh god. That's so weird. Can you imagine being the postmates person going into Nobu? Hi, I'm here for a <laughs> for a postmates pickup. I think, Joe, I think they opened up a new Nobu in Newport or Huntington Beach area. But Willie, that's not that's not a comeback season. That's a uh, that's just like him not being horrible is just like that's not him coming back. That's just like hey. Now I understand why you're not in the minor leagues right now. Uh, actually, jo uh, Joseph, we were just talking about that. We were talking about, um... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about... Dimitri Young, Joe posted a link of it earlier. He had one of the most incredible baseball collections ever. And like his collection was all, I think like all PSA 10s. Brendan Rogers, franchise favorites, cracked ice. Colorado Rockies, that is Colin Smith. Seattle Mariners, Evan Litt, with a Julio Rodriguez auto. Congrats, Evan.
Lewis Robert. Bo Bichette, Future Foundations. Reese Hines Auto for the Reds. Cincinnati Reds, Jeremy Anderson. Austin Riley, Neil Fight Sensations for the Braves. Tori Wachtel. Juan Soto, Cracked Ice for the Washington Nationals and Colin Smith. Andrew Vaughn Blue to 150 for the White Sox and Enoch. CJ Abrams cracked ice for the Padres and Sean McManus. Luis Gill Auto for the New York Yankees and Chris Miller. Joey Bart. And same box. Second, Luis Gill. Auto for the New York Yankees. And Chris Miller. Yeah. Luis Gill hot box. Three boxes down, one box to go. Luis Gill? He was a draft pick in 's right I mean still 33 people in the chat we're on the east Co or west coast 1220 here east coast it is 330 I mean even the people in the chat can tell you there's a bunch of people that are still only figuring out about this just now figuring out about this even with all the stuff with the pandemic and people being stuck at home we're still getting a ton of people that are coming in and don't know, I mean, are just like, wow, I just heard about you guys, I just saw you, whatever it may be. So, it's weird to believe, but I think, you know, in regards to the people that have been in the industry or been, you know, doing this stuff for the last year, I think we're, a lot of these people are only the second wave, not the early adopters, but the second wave of people that are coming in. See? Tyler's right there. Two weeks ago. I mean, there's people that literally... Uh, this is probably their first day in here, guys. This is probably their first time in this chat. And they're just like, whoa, this is so cool.
I mean, you're going to get a lot of people. Like like Joe said, we've got the LA Times coming in to meet Boss Man on Thursday. Talk about the shop. Talk about how, you know, the pandemic and everything, how it affected the business. And you're going to get a ton of people that legitimately, they're, they're going to read that story. And there's talk about it getting publicly syndicated na nationwide. It's, it's crazy. You're going to, I mean... There's going to be even more people once the story goes out that, you know, read it. And it's, it's, I believe it's part of the business journal. So what kind of a person do you think reads the LA Times business journal? The guy who's obviously invested in interest, uh, you know, interested in investments, stocks, earnings, businesses, and stuff like that, right? Well, a lot of those people, men and women, probably also are inclined to like sports. On top of that, there's a good chance that maybe they collected cards when they were a kid. You don't think that they're going to look at this as an opportunity where they could, you know, get back into something that's nostalgic for them? While also, you know, using their disposable income. How did I get into it? I got into it because... I was a customer, and I sat in the chat and I bothered Joe as much as possible. But no, I was, you know, I was just having fun as a customer, even even in the breaks that I wasn't buying, you know, just chatting with people, talking about different cards, different, talking about the industry, um, you know, talking about everything. It was a lot of fun, just kind of being around. And then obviously the pandemic happened. They got busier. I had free time. It was a match made in heaven, some may say. The history books will say it was kismet. One day they'll make a movie about us, Joe. I'm going to be played by the guy who, uh, who played... Street, uh, who played the big dude with the cutoff shorts in uh... <laughs> Us, Joe. Everybody. I'll have a role part in it. The guy that'll play me will be the dude that, uh, that played the big guy from Street Fighter in the live action movie. It's still a storyline, Joe. It's still a storyline. might not be important to you, but it's important to me. Uh, Neophyte Sensations, Nick Senzel for the Reds, Cincinnati Reds, Jeremy Anderson, Grant Levine, die cut, Josh Bell, Power Producers, Cracked Ice, Ryland Bannon, Auto for the Baltimore Orioles, Baltimore Orioles and Sarah Bernard. Got a Dodger. Will Christian. Will Smith auto. Rookie auto. For Will Christian and the Los Angeles Dodgers. A will for Will. Where there's a will, there's a will. Francisco Lindor cracked ice. We got a redemption. Carter Keyboom 
Rookie green to 99 for the Washington Nationals and Colin Smith. Brennan Malone auto for the Arizona Diamondbacks and Reza Amini. That was the box. Let's take a look and see who this redemption is. Best of 2019 autograph. Rookie parallel. Of Michael Bush. That's going to Los Angeles Dodgers and Will Christian. I believe the best of is like a case hit of some sort, I think. So. There you go, Will. And guys, that's our break. Very fun. I love Bowman's Best. One of my favorite products. Everybody, that was 2019 Bowman's Best. Four box, half case break. Random teams, number three. The second half of that case will be in random teams number four, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you for everybody that got into it, and we'll see you next time.